Okay, red check. Logic, medium 11. Think, yeah, think. Go for it. Why doesn't he believe me? Your mind grinds no, to a no. All you can see is the revolver in the man's armored hand. Yeah, that doesn't make Sway, sense. Pointed at her. You move your mouth like a fish gasping for air. Option number one. She's a woman. Don't. Number two. I'll kill you. Number three. No, she wasn't even there. She wasn't even there. Okay. He pulled the trigger. Oh no. A plume of smoke erupts from the muzzle. And Lysias dead. Crap. The shot rings in your ears. A low tinny ring. Then the Hardy boys yell something. I'm okay. I'm okay. The woman grabs her left side. She's down. Her white shirt soaks of blood red around her abdomen. Abdo abdomen. She gasps for air. She's not. She's bleeding out. If she doesn't get help in ten minutes, she'll die. And we lost morale. Yeah. This is not going well. Mm -hmm. uh, Eugene says, fuck this. The man starts pulling something out from his pocket. Gene! Cancel Lizzie! Now! And yeah, Titus is keeping his wits about him. Mm -hmm. Back to the previous menu. Has anything changed? Uh, I don't think so. Let's see. We have rhetoric has now a minus one. Gardener is dying. Fuck. Suggestion, no change. Okay. And eye coordination is now three percent because minus one. The uh, god gardener shot. That didn't go well. No. Um, I vote we go straight for suggestion, because the other options so far they have like not helped. Yeah, and none of the other options we thought were. And it's just fictionally. Um, it seems like we need like there's no more mucking about. Yeah. Okay. So, suggestion, yeah. formidable, 13, talk about the hanged man. But 83%, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, come on. Dangerous. Ugh. Ask about him first. You don't want personal facts about his dead friend coming out of your mouth. He has to start it. All right. So, we can say, I knew you weren't a goddamn scab leader. Or, who are you? Corti? I knew... <laughs> I guess, who are you is a question, so we pick that one, right? Uh, yeah, but if we say Corti, we reveal that we already know his name. How how do we know his name? Just because of the fucking game labeling these guys. This is no, a problem. No, because Joyce told us his name. Oh! Or maybe... Did she? I think so, yeah. Okay. Then, uh, then number one. Yeah. I don't fucking act so well. Lely had a hard on for making faces for you natives. Fucking food aid shit. That shit is done now. Trigger time. And then we say, who are you, Corti? Sergeant Major Rao Cortiner, reporting in to burn this fucking mud hut to the ground. He points at the whirling in rags. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just remember, yeah, I guess it's still cursed, so that was eventually <laughs> happening. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> As he moves, the interlocking pieces of his armor click softly. Corti, Cortana, Major Raoul, Corti, Cortana, friends with Lely, Raoul and Lely. Okay, thank you, Logic. Again, <laughs> valuable input. <laughs> For killing maiming and humiliating our commanding officer were all sentenced to death by lead and we can say number one listen you're Lely everyone says good things about him he was a talker number two he had blue eyes didn't he your colonel hey we got a bonus for blue eyes yeah and number three with the conclude option your colonel did not deserve to go out like that I promise, I will find his killer. Do the blue eyes. Baby blue, yeah. Like someone fucked up and put a baby's eyes on a grown man. He smiles, pulling his face in a strange way. Mm. It was creepy, but bitches, bitches like that shit, I guess. Or 
I don't know what bitch is like. I just know how to mow down cloths. Okay. Uh, we still have the other option. Listen, you're a laddie. Everyone says good things about him. He was a talker. Or the conclude option. Should we say that one first? Uh, sure, I guess. All right. What do you mean, talker? We've heard testimony. People say he was charismatic. A nice guy to be around. Yeah. He liked to chat off the natives. Share leaflets. Squeeze a bit of kit tass here and there. Great fucking idea that turned out to be. He mm. points towards the yard. Mm -hmm. If Lely was here, he would spare the lot of you. Maybe shoot one for sure. But me, I'm not a big fan of public affairs, Clay Monkey. I'll gun every one of you down for what you did. Ready to open fire, Major. At your command. This one isn't used to being suited this long. She's uncomfortable. We'll open fire just to hurry things up. <laughs> <laughs> that is very human. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, and then we have the conclude option. Your colonel did not deserve to go out like that. I promise. I will find his killer. All right. Find his killer. Cop, his killers stand right there, shitting their pants. And you're standing in the way, protecting them. They... They didn't... The woman holds onto her side, teeth rattling. Charlie, blood's all gone out now. Not long to go till the rattle starts. One down, girl. Seven to go. This did nothing. You think you were onto something? <laughs> you just wasted time. Please, what the act. Is that half Light? Yeah. Oh, man. half Light really wants us to shoot, but that's expected. Mm-hmm. So what now? Uh, we're back to the previous menu. So crap. Anything uh, changed? I don't think so. So we have still the rhetoric. Uh, red check. What's the chance there? Uh, Forty-two percent. All right. Uh, well, the shooting is like impossible. Yeah. Except with a crit, which we're a bit better at. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't... How do you feel about taking the other options? I don't feel good about that at all. If anything, I want to do rhetoric, because it's a red check, and that's at least still feels more like action. Yeah. Mm. Uh, now I wonder if... Um, so the last two options are shoot him and stand there quietly, hoping nothing bad happens. Yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah, but... This like... Uh, question is that just the, okay we have done everything here uh, let's see how this plays out what, what are you saying so um what do you want to do i wonder if any of the other options ends this situation or if that is the end option basically so where we well it's, get all I the mean, positive points and all that and then we'll see I don't uh, understand. Are you saying you want to stand there and do nothing? No, I'm just... N not yet. I'm just trying to understand this uh, um, Yeah, options. okay, I get that. I, uh, I don't know what's going to happen if you stand there and do nothing. And it might be that, yeah, we're collecting stuff here, and then if you hit that button, it will um, produce a result. Mm -hmm. Or it might be that succeeding... Well, we did, we did succeed with suggestion, right? But maybe that was a trap. It was a red herring. Yeah, but I I could see a a path where, yeah, shooting gets you out of this menu, mm -hmm. and maybe that's also the kind of red check where it's it's okay to fail, <laughs> right? The game doesn't tell you what happens if you fail. Yeah, uh, maybe they just shoot us instead, and then yeah, you suddenly draw out. fire on yourself, right? Yeah, it's uh, it's a good game. Yeah, because I really care about <laughs> what to do. Yeah, now we have again time pressure because. The doc, uh, the the gardener is dying. Do the rhetoric. It's our forte. Okay. Yeah. Think of an argument. International no. something. International law. And we can say this tribunal is against the law. The international law. All right. Make an can, ass of yourself. Or we can not say it. Well, 
Do we? <laughs> I, I mean, I guess it is against the law. But uh, sure, just say it. Yeah, we have failed. Let's we're trying to get their attention on us. Yeah, that's what we're doing, mm -hmm. and I'm sticking to that story. <laughs> Look around, you livestock. We're about to butcher the lot of you. Where is your international law? There will be ramifications, but there don't need to be. Let's go inside and discuss what our investigation has uncovered. We have important. We're not fucking coming anywhere, Sailite. It's a miracle no one got shot this time. <laughs> Stop <laughs> attempting to use your head. It won't work. Uh huh. Hmm. That's half that again, right? That suggestion, actually. Oh, okay. If even suggestion says, it. I say we open fire. Like, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Um, three percent chance. Shoot. Continue. Well, but it's like at least we're doing something. <laughs> yeah. Even no, if it's I, badly. I agree. Yeah. Um, and I don't see any of the other options going any better. Here. Yeah. <laughs> of course. We shot the ground. A small cool. explosion expels the bullet from the chamber. With a puff of smoke, it hits the man square in the chest, producing a soft clicking sound in the armor. <laughs> hey, we did hit him. I guess. It just bounced off, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Like dice rolling. Go ahead. Give it another try. The man doesn't even move. He's smiling. Yeah. And we have number one, a red check, hand eye coordination, legendary 14, shoot him again. <laughs> number two, it didn't do anything. And we look at the gun. Number three, throw the gun at him. <laughs> Die! <laughs> and number four, do nothing. And we, yeah, okay. The 3% just now also a minus two, already missed him once. Yeah, okay. So I guess even shooting him, even successfully shooting him wouldn't have worked, right? I don't know. I don't know Fuck. what would have happened. I, I don't know. Do you either. want to shoot him again? Not really. I mean, there's no point to it. Well, um, yeah, except we would lose the last bullet in the gun. True, yeah. If we don't shoot, we still have one bullet for another situation. Mm -hmm. But yeah, then what do we do? Do the it really did nothing option? Yeah, it didn't do anything. And we look at the gun. Do it, primitive. Take me out. Okay, and I like that he's asking for it. Now we can't shoot him anymore. Oh crap! Uh, we can either throw the gun at him and say die, or do nothing. Now I want to do nothing. Yeah, I don't like throwing the gun away at all. We just got it. <laughs> yeah, we worked so hard for this. <laughs> Or do, should we do it? Just He wants to, if he gets it out of his system, maybe a little fist fight, you know? Yeah, maybe, yeah. Let's maybe, do it. Maybe let's, that's, let's throw the gun. Yeah, maybe that's the way to de-escalate. Do, do it the half-light way. <laughs> so, okay, we throw the gun at him. Die! Where's... Kill him. Okay. okay. That did it? Throwing the gun made you kill me? I guess, yeah. Uh, so so we, we died. We lost an item and the weapon bounces off his shoulder. He turns to his left and says, kill him. And the screen turned grayish. Wow. That's not good. It never happened before. Did we ever die in this game? To your right, the killer raises his rifle and takes aim at you. His moves are steady, but the long barrel of the rifle sways slowly oh that's interesting it's turned gray because we are seeing a single moment uh -huh. so be between just now right uh, we threw the gun at him yeah then we had a gray moment where he said kill him then we had a moment where all the hardy boys left and the killer again uh raises his rifle and turns towards us uh -huh. and kim behind us is ducking down and running around us. Okay. And so we are standing. But then lots of stuff happened. Uh, yeah. And now we are again in a moment in the standstill. Titus Hardy is still there. The Hardy boys left apart from him. Uh, Kim is behind us. 
uh, running, uh-huh. basically, but not moving at the moment because uh, frozen in time. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. This is like a visual calculus moment. Yeah, basically. Mm-hmm. And Also, I think um, mm-hmm. even the narrator called him the killer and stuff. Like, I don't think that's a bug. If he actually is the killer and this is the reveal of it, I think it's just the creative choice of the game. <laughs> at this point, they're like, okay, we know you're really confused of the Ruby conversation. Uh, let's just put this on the table. <laughs> yeah, either that or, again, these these three are killers, right? Yeah, we and it's, we're just misinterpreting. That's yeah. sure. It's also a possibility. But I sort of also, now I've warmed up to the other idea. Mm-hmm. This is now no longer about figuring out who the actual killer is. <laughs> No, but you can put together the case now. It's okay. This is about survival. Yeah. But okay, so what's happening? Uh, so we can, number one, say, Kim, where's Kim? To ourselves. Ah, okay. Um, number two, blink, think. <laughs> and number three, reaction speed, challenging 12. That's a red check. Yeah. Dodge the shot. This would be a really fun interaction with that thought that makes you fail. <laughs> oh, Red Jack. God, yes. Um, like, just everything yeah. from Ruby to here. Just ev- oh, God. Um, what was that Red Jack again? Sorry. Uh, reaction speed, challenging 12. Yeah. Dodge the shot. Ah, dodge. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. And we are at 17% chance. Yeah, we're I'm, not good I'm at anything physical. Kind of glad that we are wearing the armor because... Yeah. That might save us. Yeah. Um, Can we ask where's Kim? Yeah. Kim, where's Kim? From the corner of your eye, you see the lieutenant raise his pistol and aim it at Rude. Okay, no change to the check. Ah, okay. Uh, Now we can either blink and think or dodge the shot. Let's blink and think. I hope it's not a trap, the game says. Yeah, but either way. Yeah, we're we're kind of screwed. Yeah, yeah. You stare down the barrel of the gun. You see Rude's mask behind it, his eyes in the slit of the helmet, like a camera lens, focusing on you. Is there anything, anything, we could use to protect this frail body? That gun will tear us to pieces. Who is that? A full suit of armor can't be mm-hmm. too agile. You can shift direction faster than he can. Hmm. Just dodge the first shot. And the second will be easier. Drunks are quick to anger and make mistakes. So that was endurance. Uh-huh. Is there anything we can do? Yeah. Save your fear. A full suit of armor can't be too ag- agile. You can shoot uh, shift directions faster than he can. Mm-hmm. And then suggestion. You can dodge the first shot. I like how save your fear has the, the dance moves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you shift better. <laughs> yeah. Ha uh-huh. <laughs> ha. Staying alive and so on. Uh, okay. Only the red Titus check. Behind you. <laughs> Must be aiming at him right now. Ah, okay. Don't forget, there's additional reinforcements. Just survive this. Well, we're trying. Yeah. It's not like we want to get shot. Half Light had the right idea. <clears throat> we fucked it up by hesitating, I guess. Well, okay. <laughs> so we that was four successes, right? An endurance success. Yeah. Save your fair medium success. Suggestion formidable success. Yeah. Listen. And esprit de corps formidable success. We're really good at skills when they don't matter. Oh. <laughs> But they do matter, Marius. Oh, yeah? We Tell me why. Plus one, you're faster. Ah. Plus one, he'll make a mistake. <laughs> plus one, help us on the way. I like this. 58% chance. That's nice. Yeah. Uh-huh. Almost oh. a coin flip. Let's do it. Here we go. You leap. Yes. A swarm of angry lead passes mere millimeters from your side, tearing fabric off your coat. Feels like the lightest of time. Wow, that's so exciting. <laughs> we can say, number one, Joy, I am alive. <laughs> Joy? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that's very hairy. Yeah. Uh, number two, I cannot be killed. I have become immortal. <laughs> <laughs> and number three, uh, shouting out loud, stop shooting at me. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you like best, Wilson? I, uh, I have become immortal. Yeah, go for it. I cannot be killed. <laughs> also reminds me of the movie with Ryan Gosling. It is a bit. Uh, 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 it is an act of hubris, though. Yes. Well. All right. You're a fan of that. Go for it. Here we go. The man tilts his head, trying to see through the clearing smoke for the next shot. Watch out! To your left, the Paul is about to take a shot too, at Kim. Oh no! That's even worse. Yeah. God, please. 
the return says quietly, without trembling. He aims, face pale. Two shots ring at once. One from the lieutenant's pistol, and the other from the balls. It's aimed at the lieutenant, but it misses. Oh, thank you God. hear a scream behind you. She might have gotten... Can, can we actually hit something for once? Yeah, and she might have gotten uh, Titus. Oh, okay. So we can say, Kim, did he hit the rifleman? And number two, who screamed? Oh man, if it's God on the fucking balcony, I'm got uh, with his mind. stupid birds. Yeah, <clears throat> so. I think I want to know who screamed. Who screamed? Okay. Glenn, dying in a puddle of blood behind you. Crap. His mangled torso has two gunshot wounds. Blood gushes out of them like red geezers. Oh God, watch out! That's inland. You see two cold eyes looking at you through all the smoke and panic, and a pistol raised, aiming at your chest, point blank. Then, the man squeezes the trigger. That's the old man. All right. Uh, we have number one, look him in the eye. Number two, red check, reaction speed, impossible 20, evade the shot. <laughs> and number three, let it happen. Let's try to evade the shot. Three percent. Yeah. Do we want to look him in the eye first? Yeah, okay. A look of happiness. His eyes seem unnaturally bright, shining like stars. Something in the fear must distort him somehow. He is evil. And the end. Here it comes. Death. Three percent. Or do we let it happen? What would Inland want? Uh, I mean, Inland screamed at us, at us, oh god, watch out. That yeah. doesn't sound that like That sounds someone. like evading, so let's try. Yeah. yeah. Of course not. Black screen. Game over? No, we have to. You screen. can't. There is no time. Something inside your pelvis explodes. Your entire lower body is on fire and your legs can't support you. You fall down like a rag doll. So he missed the armor piece by like four centimeters. <laughs> Damn it, game. Yeah, we had armor. What about the armor game? Yeah. The pain is too immense to scream. It pushes the air out of your lungs. Everything goes dark. A distant blur as you recede into it. That's a challenging failure for pain threshold. All right. And we can, number one, listen through the darkness and the pain. We can also touch our lower body or try to open our eyes. What do we see? Nice. Look, all the senses are here, listening, touching, and seeing. Yeah. Uh, I want to listen. The Hardy Boys are yelling. Someone is running, jumping over you. In the background, you hear gunfire shatter glass, and then a man in pain. A familiar sound. It's Titus with a splat like meat. You hear bullets rip into him. His voice, still giving orders, grows fainter. A gurgle. He's not gonna make it. That's inland. Yeah, that's a good intuition. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can still touch and see. Yeah, sure, touch. Feels slick and warm with blood. The pain is too strong to know what has happened there. Even clutching to your consciousness takes everything you've got. It's pain threshold talking. All right. Uh, we can now ask, what parts of me are missing? Can you still open your eyes? Yeah. Yeah, do that. What do I see? Nothing. A persisting darkness. Dancing lights of pain. Distant shadows cast by them. Like a hellish play. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, what we see now is like fading in and out of darkness. Mm -hmm. uh, is a sort of negative of... Um, I think it's Kim. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so, mm. so Kim um, kneeling on the square. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I don't know if we are anywhere. I don't know, but uh, there's like <clears throat> there's just um, red uh, blood spatter all over our vision, basically. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. And that's uh, the only thing we see. Just a close up of Kim on the kneeling on the. All uh, right. Square. So options. You're bleeding out. Uh, out of it, a silhouette appears, crouching over you. You hear a familiar voice filled with urgency and fear. Yeah. And I'm glad he's all right, though. Yeah. For now. Number one, we say out loud, no one wants to do anything with me. No one <laughs> wants to party with me. <laughs> Number two, gun down in the line of duty. It's okay. Number three, Kim, I lied. About not remember, remembering who I am. I oh, made really? it up. I remember everything. Number four. Do we? I mean, I don't. Yeah. I don't know about you. Uh, number four. There's a white shadow that smells like apricots. It's always there. I, I'm, I'm super intrigued by the I light option. Do I want to take it? Man, what do you want to take? I'm intrigued by the last two options. Yeah. The light and the white shadow that smells like apricots. Well, you pick. You pick. Okay, let's find out why we lied. All right. If we lied. Stay with me. Yeah, he doesn't care about that right now. <laughs> uh, you feel burning hot tears streaming from your eyes. And we can say, I'm a fucking failure. And the love of my life left me. Or number two, everyone knows I made it up. I'm just drunk, stupid, dead drunk. Hmm. Number one. Yes, keep talking. You hear me? Stay awake. The lieutenant pushes down on your wound, hard. But you can't. It's so hard. Your eyelids grow heavy, and the sounds ever more distant. And a cold comes over you. The lieutenant, too, is somewhere far away almost gone, when suddenly you sense something behind him, a shadow towering. Someone stands there, raising his pistol at him. The lieutenant does not see it. He's pushing down on your wound with both hands. It's the old mercenary. Right. This and is bad. Yeah. We can either, number one, let the darkness take out us, mm -hmm. or number two, Red check, authority medium <laughs> 11. No, Kim! Uh, what's the chance? It's, well, we get a plus one from the lieutenant trusts you. Mm. Plus two, because Kim truly trusts you. Nice. And we have authority nine, so we're pretty good at fucking authority, so we have wow. a 97% chance. Can we at least do this, Vincent? Go I on. hope so. Yeah. No, you say, and hand out your firearm to him. Your mm -hmm. hand trembles, and your eyes are full of fear. We hey. threw it away. Yeah, okay, we must have gotten it back somehow. I'm glad now we didn't take the second yes. shot, because it still has one bullet in it. <laughs> True, yeah. That's all it takes. There is no room for hesitation. The lieutenant moves like a spring unloaded. He grabs the gun from your bloody hand and fires behind him. You hear a roar of pain, a death scream. The sound disappears like someone pressed stop on the tape. The hulking figure, too, is gone. Wow. And so is Kim and the whole world. And we have only one option. Fall into total darkness. Yeah. This is death. One more door, baby. <laughs> one more door. And we can ask... Will I be a ghost now? Or number two? Good. I want to die. Or number three? No. Let me back into the fight. <laughs> uh, will I be a ghost now? Is the inland kind of an <laughs> <a> question. <laughs> yeah. Do we take that? Yeah. Brava. You already were a ghost. <laughs> yeah, I was Up thinking there, that all screaming along. Screaming yeah. along with all of them, scaring each other. 
haunting each other. It's the living who are ghosts. The dead are silent. They don't rattle windows or write letters in blood. The living do. Leave them behind. Rest. So, we still have the other two options. Yeah, Good. they'll be back in the fight. The fight? There is no fight. The fight is over. It was lost a thousand years ago. You have laid here forever. Keep falling. Take the door. He's not taking it. His body is not taking it. Oh, God, no. He's not disintegrating. He's swelling up instead. Both the hours. Hurting. Moaning in his sleep. For a moment there, I was wondering, is this a... Is this a Groundhog Day situation where we just start Well, up? yeah, maybe. I don't know. Harry gets to... We can play also all the paths, and in all the paths you will die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seems sort of uh, in the spirit of this game a little bit. Yeah. Um, but, okay. Uh, we what, continue. Yeah. And rotting. And being disinfected. And smelling of drugs. And feeling saliva in his mouth. Drifting in painkillers, thrashing in his warm sleep. He can't go, not before the case is solved. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Who's yeah. saying that? Volition. Yeah. There was a radio in the distance, a radio of the world, plain sounds. Good morning, Elysium. Soon he will return to the world. You're thirsty. Reach for the glass of water by the bed. The world is still there. Sleep some more. Hours turn to days. Soon we will get up again and go through it again, again. Finally, we know what the infernal engine was outside. The clarion call. It was him. He is the infernal engine. He never stops. <laughs> he only gets worse. And fade to black. Hello, ding. Hmm. You see the lieutenant's familiar shape in the orange jacket. It turns double, then triple from the pain. And we are in the hotel room, or in the, the Whirling and Rex room. All oh, right. Um, it's nothing. You're alive. That's what matters. <laughs> we can say, Kim. Or we can say, I'm alive. Say, Kim. Sunrise, Arabellon. <laughs> uh, task complete. Return to the Whirling and Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we're getting 73. Uh, nice. Can we put it all into half light? Please? <laughs> yes. Can we can we get immunity to yeah. bullets somehow? Uh, so he says sunrise, Parabellum. The lieutenant says. That's what it says on the gun, which yeah. saved his life, I guess. At least we True. were able to do that, even if we fail everything else. Yeah. He's in the middle of a freshly cleaned room with a fan above his head, like a halo. His face is covered in bruises. And we can say number one. Ouch. Number two. The room is it's clean. Number three. The piss jacket, Kim. You took it off? <laughs> say the jacket bit. <laughs> uh, or number four. Uh, what did you say? Sunrise. Number mm. five. What happened? And number six, how bad am I hurt? <clears throat> Say the jacket, but... Mm -hmm. Yes, the joke wasn't funny anymore. <laughs> I took it off. 
He has a point. Fair. Yeah. The close proximity of death must have made the lieutenant contemplate his life choices. <laughs> He's done with the jacket. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So all have, the options. Ouch. The room. It's clean. Say ouch. What did you say? Sunrise. Uh, what right. happened? And how bad am I hurt? Ouch. Ouch. It's not ouch time yet. You just go to draw a mean pill an hour ago. Wait until it wears off. He said what? What pill? Uh, Drew, I mean, which is also the health ah, portion, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, the room. Yeah, it's clean. room. Just take from okay. you know, in order. Mister Gart cleaned it. It took him an entire day. Hmm. And then we ask, how long have I been out? Two days, in and out. Oh wow! You've been up enough to take the woman and curse, and drink water. <laughs> okay. So we got shot, and all it took was some painkillers. Well, it, we'll hear about the wound, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and what did you say? Sunrise? Mm -hmm. Sunrise Parabellum. Sunrise, prepare for war. It's an old revolutionary thing. Hmm. Uh, right. We can say, my gun, it's a, engraved on it. Yeah. Or is it war today? Say the gun stuff. Cops like it. Hey, plus five XP. Nice. And we level up. And then we ask, is it war today? The gates of the harbor are boarded up. The streets are a little more empty. Apocalyptic violence is yet to erupt, I am relieved to say. He okay. looks out the window. It seemed pretty apocalyptic yesterday. <laughs> I think we may have held it off for now. Barely. Okay. He unzips his I like that. jacket. I, I was thinking, oh, we failed the game. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, <laughs> the whole way through, I thought this is a pretty elaborate game over. <laughs> <laughs> Which is great. I love that. Uh -huh. But I also like the ambiguous. And no, now you have to deal with an even worse situation. Yeah. That's good too. And we can say good or number two. A pity or number three. Ouch. Good. Yes, we have also completely failed. But that's okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. And then we ask, what happened? Uh -huh. What happened? You shot the colonel unsuccessfully. Then you threw your gun at him. <laughs> Firefight ensued. <laughs> Don't have to say it so mean. Well, wasn't that mean. Okay. Uh, what happened then? Yeah. As retaliation, the rifleman tried shooting you. He missed, or you dodged. <laughs> we can say, I dodged. <laughs> or we can say, then what? Then what? I shot and wounded him, while Glenn took a bullet in the spine. It was meant for me. He did not survive. Yeah, there's a pause. This is not the first person to die in his place. Mm. He goes on. It's all partner, maybe? Yeah. Titus, Fat Angus, and Theo charged. Angus and Theo died before they made it to intensive care. Titus died in the hospital. Wow. Yes, to you. Alain and the young musician, I forget his name. They are all that's left. Titus wow. is dead? Yes. yes. <laughs> I thought you were asking me. Yeah, I don't. Uh, and we not? You were bleeding out. I think you said you lied about being an amnesiac. And you warned me. I was able to disarm the Major before he got a jump on me. Thank you. Although... I was not able to kill him, as I should have. Cranel took him. A stray bullet killed the pole, though. And that's what happened. Um... Okay, wait, uh, the last bit. So, who was behind him? Standing behind him? Yeah. Wasn't he talking about that? Just, can you just read it again? Sorry. Uh, so, uh, I was able to disarm the Major because uh, before he got jump on me. Uh -huh. I was not able to kill him. Ah, I, okay. The as same I should guy. have. Yeah, yeah. Cronell took him. And then the Lieutenant... But, but who is Cronell? I thought Cronell is the Major. Yeah, I have no idea. Okay. Um, the Lieutenant takes a cigarette from his coat pocket and lights it. A bitter smell, f smell fills the room. Mm -hmm. A stray bullet killed the Paul. That's the lady. And that's what happened. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, and we can say, number one, Titus is dead? <laughs> yeah, I can't believe it either. Yeah. Um, number two, I thought you only smoked one a day. <laughs> number three, and the mayor? And then the last option, how many casualties on the union side total? Hmm. Uh, just talk about the smokes because that's the cool thing to say now. Mm -hmm. This is the one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
Uh, so yeah, Titus is dead. Yeah, Titus is dead. Yeah. Yes. All right. He pulls on a cigarette intently. The major. He's in a private hospital across the river. Colonel claimed him from the local butcher shop where Titus died. Turns out he's insured. Hmm. There is unveiled anger in his voice. We won't get to him anymore. The good news is he's not coming here either. I did some damage. Hmm. And then how many casualties on the Union side in yeah. total? Six. <clears throat> Glenn, Theo, Shanky, Angus. The fat one, he took a lot of bullets. And Titus. And Elizabeth too. Elizabeth Beaufort was her name. The gardener. She did not make it? No, she bled out before Everard's surgeon could help her. Everard sent his personal doctor, but a costly loss for the Union. She was being trained for leadership. Hmm. And we can say, if I would have presented the theory better to their leader, or we can say, I did all I could there. No, do number one. She never had the chance. She should not have been there in the first place. There was no way to convince them. I suspect that's true, though I do really wonder. <laughs> Definitely a situation for multiple playthroughs. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Is it like a, a failure scenario? The one thing I wonder if, if, if that the way we played through it, right? That we did a bunch of stuff and then yeah. we talked to Ruby and after Ruby, all that happened. Yeah, yeah. I would agree with Kim's assessment here. Um, with your assessment, um, because after after Ruby, we just had more questions for Classy, and we didn't know. And maybe, maybe there are some checks we could have succeeded at, but I don't think so. So, so um, you agree that once you, or you also think that once you're in the mercenary encounter, you're definitely like it's gonna turn out this way where everyone gets shot, unless there's some way to get to the mercenary encounter um, after having talked to Ruby and with a pause in between. What? Right. So um, if the mercenary encounter only happened because we were at the end of day... Yeah, that, that's four? a separate... Okay, but uh, to me that's a separate question. I think I know where you're, you're getting at. Uh -huh. But I mean like once you're in the mercenary encounter, is it always going to be a catastrophe? And the separate question that I also don't know is like, does the mercenary encounter is that triggered after talking to ruby or is it based on time <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> right That's if we had talked to ruby <clears throat> yesterday mm -hmm. would we still have an entire day to find the killer to prevent this catastrophe yeah which i think is likely and would be very cool that's my favorite option <laughs> mm -hmm. and it's also very punishing <laughs> yeah yeah i and agree it's, and it's excellent but i i do think that once you're in the encounter it's going to be a catastrophe Unless you know who the real killer is and can make at that exact moment, right? Yeah. That now I see what you meant with yeah, yeah. if we had some time. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. So unless you have the the one solution to it, yeah, then you can't prevent it. And fuck. Yeah. Let's, I feel like we're gonna play this game forever. <laughs> like I, we're never gonna be done with this. I, I'm up for it. There's like sixty different thoughts we I haven't mean, explored. And... I guess it's still not clear when Baldur's Gate three is coming out. So Yeah, also <laughs> I, I I don't even know how much I mean now it's day seven in the game and I don't know how much of yeah. this game we have left. Is this but, act yeah, two? Yeah. I don't it know. It feels sort of act two ish, but <laughs> that's the other thing. I also like dealing with catastrophe and, and I'm wondering like, okay, uh -huh. what does the game do once you go on from here? Yeah. Like and, and after all this like d drama and like adrenaline, uh, of course the game has me hooked even more. So yeah. we I guess we, we're stuck in the Elysium just like Harry for a while. Yeah. But let's um let's try to finish this dialogue. Okay. Stop this line of thought now. You're too broken for ghosts. All right. Okay. Uh, and then we say, and that's, and we conclude. All. He nods. Yeah. And we can say, number one, an absolute disaster. <laughs> or number two, it's a total shit show, Kim. <laughs> number three, not that bad, <laughs> all things considered. Number four, I don't see how it could have gone any better. No, I do see some. Like, we could have hit the shot. Don't know what happens then, but I, let's just say it's a disaster. Yeah. Yes, officer. Six people are dead. 
it's not a success. <clears throat> interesting. He said six, but in this text it said seven. Oh, interesting. He said six earlier. No. But what's done is done. The violence is cold enough. The Hornets did not get into the beehive. The worst scenario has not materialized yet. And we are still alive, both of us. True. Yeah. I guess we could have lost Kim and we didn't because he that's, trusts That us. is. And I guess the worst scenario is really like they kill all of the Union. Right? No. Yeah. Uh, the worst scenario is open war between yeah. Wild Pines and the Union. Yeah. He did not expect you both to survive once you stepped between those two armies. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> yeah. How did we survive? Uh, I mean, I still don't know how we survived. That's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. His smoking, his hunched back. You have it worse, but he took a real beating. Mm -hmm. That cigarette has medicinal purposes. Yeah. Uh, he's doesn't have a hunched back again anyway uh we can ask how bad am i hurt yeah reasonably bad you were shot in the left quadriceps that's your tie the oh, other okay. side thankfully no major arteries were nicked huh. the bullet was removed and a bacterial infection treated with mercurocol okay can, that's not so bad can i walk mm -hmm. we will see if it's possible then by pure willpower alone you are going to have to become a psycho locomotor. <laughs> what? Who is saying that? Volition. Uh, okay. Of course. <laughs> right. With a challenging success. It's like Volition sees this as a challenge. <laughs> yes. Um, All right. We can say, I'm a psycho locomotor. <laughs> yes, say that. Uh, we also have the option to say, has anyone from my station been seen? Uh, has anyone from my station been to see me? Uh, number three, are you hurt? And number four, okay. And we get up. Number one. Good. You need to be. Whatever that is. <laughs> okay. Next option. Mm -hmm. Has anyone from my station been to see me? Yeah. No. Not even the two that were already here. I'm not surprised. Damn it. A man and a woman sit in the front seat of an armored motor carriage. The woman is driving. The man lights a cigarette. Jean Vicmer is his name. The asphalt vanishes under the wheels of the machine. Ahead. Harbor cranes rise to the sky. They're back gone. to that shithole, he says. Oh, no, they, they oh, they're were coming gone. back. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Because in the dialogue with Ruby, we saw them leave Martinez. Like it might have been then, yeah. Yeah, and the, then... That was sort of the question. Yeah. But they was talking about a wig. Is the guy really wearing a wig? I guess so. Okay. I don't know. I, well, we'll see what his hair is, I guess. Uh, we can't say... They don't care about me at all. Or number two, good. I don't need them. Or number three, really? And number four, isn't that strange? Isn't that strange? I called your station after the fight. The injury was logged in. They told me they've sent officers to join you on the site. Okay. And option number two is, okay. Uh, <laughs> the first option is, odd. You haven't seen any, have you? I want to say number one. I'm sure they are worried about you. And before he said that, that says, there's a pause. I'm sure they're worried about you. Okay. And then we have, uh, if not my station, then who treated me? Okay. Uh, we also have, are you hurt? And okay, and we get up. Are you hurt? Not very. <clears throat> I have a concussion from the Major beating me with the butt of his gun. I try to not move too much. Things would be worse if you didn't warn me. Thank you. I did not see him coming. Stupid of me. Hmm. Okay. And then we can get up or say, if not my station, then yeah, he tweeted me. number one. I did. Oh, wow. And we can say, thank you. Or, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> say thank you. No need. Okay. Then we get up. All right. He's slowly getting up. Can I just continue to smoke? Easy now. The lieutenant turns double again before your eyes. An orange hue of pain. Also, 
<laughs> just something else I just noticed. Um, so Kim is standing there and smoking, right? And yeah. lowering his cigarette and smoking. But here's the thing. The cigarette moves independently of his hand. Oh, Kim with the bugs and glitches. Yeah. <laughs> she <laughs> just, just loves them. Every time he, his hand starts moving, the cigarette is already like a few centimeters in front of the right. uh, hand. Kim is like Walt Disney and all the photographs where they photoshopped out the cigarette and he's just holding up his hand for nothing. Yeah, while the cigarette <laughs> is next to his pocket, yeah. <laughs> ready to be smoked again. <laughs> all right. Are we still in conversation? Yeah. Okay. You can take it. Just don't lean on that leg of yours too heavily. Your balance is way off. You feel like you're about to fall over on that thing. That's Savior Fair. Mm -hmm. How are you? I can say number one. <sighs> number two. My disco days are done. <laughs> number three. I feel fantastic. Let's rock. Number four. Who cares? Who cares about me? It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, Mopey Harry. N number five. I'm very bad, Kim. Things are very bad. I feel fantastic. We acknowledged the catastrophe earlier. Now it's time to go back into optimism mode. Mm -hmm. He nods. <laughs> and then what happens now, Kim? I honestly don't know. And we can say number one. You don't know? Number two. But I don't know either. And number three. Good, because I totally do. Oh, I'm so curious about the last option. <laughs> do Although, we if it? we no, I mean, if we <laughs> if we do know, why did we just ask him? Just do number one. We can't talk to Everard. The harbor is in lockdown. Mm. Everyone in there is outside our grasp now, and Joyce has left too. <laughs> Joyce is gone. Yes, she left yesterday morning to meet the board of Wild Pines. Oh, that is what I've heard. There's a pin somewhere in the machine that keeps Connell from sending in a death squad. Ah, okay. So that's on the table now. Mm -hmm. He looks out the window. Maybe it's her. Maybe she kept her hand. Either way, Ruby's gone. And Classio too. Oh, we wow. really should have arrested her, you know? <sighs> well, that, that sucks. This is so interesting. <laughs> so who, who's even left? Yeah. It was a dice maker, Let's wasn't it? Let's go to the disco boys in the church again. <laughs> After we spent like two days talking to them and wasting time. Yeah, one thing I'm not going to do in a second playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> like if you, what a trap the church is, like all that bullshit. If mm -hmm. you just leave that shit out and you just solve the case, I guess you can prevent a catastrophe, which I suppose is sort of realistic, <laughs> but also a dick move. Yeah. Anyway. Maybe. It's great, game. You're doing a good job, game. Yeah. I'm talking to you like a person, game. Anyway, I want to get out of here, Vincent. Let's um, like move the conversation ah, along. First option is, wait, Classia is gone too? Yeah. Or oh, number two. Who did it then, Kim? Number Who one, killed wait. the hanged man? Oh, yes. She left 20 minutes prior to the tribunal showing up. I asked Mr. Gart. Mm. But where did she go to? She said she couldn't go anywhere. Mm-hmm. Turns out it was a bad idea not to arrest her, but maybe it was a good deed that will pay off in heaven. <laughs> who would have figured? <laughs> That's volition? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, who did it then, Kim? Who killed the hanged man? I don't know. I think your incredibly dangerous theory about you being the killer was incorrect, however. <laughs> there is not one piece of evidence to support it. Honestly, I think our investigation has not produced a single credible suspect. It was the cat man, Kim. Because <laughs> the game said it. Oh, yeah. We, ha we have so we many are, options. We are yeah. a failure at investigating Vincent, even though well, we really tried. But here's the of. thing. I think this is exactly what we're going to do now. Um, because we have 10 options here. Oh, my God. We're never going to be able to end this video, Vincent. No, never, ever. <laughs> Uh, okay. <clears throat> we can say number one. Okay, so once more. Class has escaped. Yeah. Number two. That. This is because I'm La Puta Madre's peon, isn't it? <laughs> number three. The fucking Maybell skim. The flowers. What about them? I don't know. I, I don't Okay, go on. Uh, number four. What about the hole in the ouch? Wall. Someone was checking her out. <laughs> number five. The goddamn footprints. Number six. There's still a 
28 percent possibility the shot came from a distance <laughs> all that stuff yeah number seven an antique bullet yeah from a bell mcgriff 4.46 millimeter how hard can it be to find one how hard can it be number eight there are all these old bunkers and weapon caches revolutionary area uh, era it's like the game is mocking us yeah and then number nine the miracle hasn't happened yet it's not over yet and then the last option number 10 the conclude option you know what i think about solving crimes okay do number one hopefully they're fast <laughs> okay so once more classy has escaped absolutely there's no other way to go about it we screwed up He's made his peace with it. He's had time to do so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next option is because I'm La Poudre Martyrs. Yeah. yeah. Don't be narcissistic. <clears throat> Half the cops in Revachol West are his peonies. Even if you are, it is not a decisive factor in this case. That does make some sense. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then the fucking flowers? Yeah. What? <laughs> Yeah, they were on the roof. I did not. I did not catch them. Fucking butterfingers! Every piece of garbage in the city is not connected to the case. <laughs> you don't have to catch everything. He's wrong. Fuck. Maybe that was a shivers check. I don't know. <laughs> I don't recall. I, I think there was something when we first met uh, Classy on the roof, oh. but uh, I don't remember yeah. exactly. Uh, Who says he's wrong? Rhetoric. Okay. I'm not sure why rhetoric. Yeah, I don't know. Rhetoric has weird yeah. ideas sometimes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. It's like, it doesn't really make sense what yeah. he's saying, but I guess okay. uh, we can say, no, Kim, every piece of garbage in the city is connected to the case. Oh, I guess it's like technically true, Definitely. grammatically to say it. True, yeah. We can also say, okay. Oh, say it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. He concedes. Clearly not meaning it. Okay. Uh, then the next to say okay but <laughs> <laughs> go on uh, what about the hole in the wall someone was checking out i don't know that's been there for years the goddamn footprints yes god curse the footprints not solving the case for us au diable there's still a 28 percent possibility the shot came from a distance mm -hmm. we should go upstairs rethink the ballistics in situ i agree with this what else a light knot through some pain see there's that. You can do ballistics. An antique bullet from a Bell McGrath 4.46 millimeter. How hard can it be to find one? How mm -hmm. hard can it be? It's extremely easy. There are thousands lying around from the war, all completely unusable. It's precisely how easy it is that makes that bullet useless. <laughs> yeah. This is such a crushing result for all of our hard efforts. Yeah. I love it. Go on. Hmm. Do we do we find anything valuable? I hope so. Uh, well, I remember when we just like we're so good at finding the bullet in his head and stuff, mm -hmm. and it didn't really help. Yeah, there are all these old bunkers and the weapon caches. Yeah. Revolutionary area. Oh. We could find thousands more if we wanted. All of Revachol is full of them. But they seemed so mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's indent. And we can say, I can't believe they're fucking useless. Or, I'm just going to say nothing. I can't believe. No need to be melodramatic. And then we can say, the miracle hasn't happened yet. It's not over yet. Sure. He does not know what to reply. Looks out of the window, then back at you. Why does he keep looking out of the window? What is there? Hmm. Is he waiting for something? I hadn't noticed that he did that more. It's the third time. Okay. It's morning outside, you think. He might be a bit paranoid after the encounter. Hmm. Right? Yeah. Looking for threats. Maybe. Uh, you know what I think about solving crimes? Uh -huh. That's a conclude option. He arches his brow. The ceiling fan patiently spins overhead. And we can say, solving crimes is hard. Or number two, solving crimes is almost impossible. Number three, solving crimes... Is super easy. And number four. Actually, I want to talk about this crime some more before I tell you what I think about its hardness. Um, solving crimes is hard. It really is very hard. <laughs> that concussion must be making him dizzy. I can ask number one. 
You're not ready to give up, are you? Number two. That's right. Let's give up. Time to start drinking. <laughs> Or number three, say nothing. Number one. No. Are you ready to limp? I'm ready. Good. Where do you want to limp to? The lieutenant did mention doing more ballistics. Also, it's just close enough to endure the walk. <laughs> Finally check all those sniper spots. Yes. That the game didn't let us check. Mm -hmm. Conspicuously. Cute. Bastard. Yeah. Uh, oh, we were dumb. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe. So we'll find out. Uh, number one, we should check Classier's room upstairs. Mm. Number two, let's just aimlessly wander until the clue presents itself. <laughs> number three, I don't know. <laughs> Checking Classier's room is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Why not? He is, extinguishes the cigarette on the sole of his boot, which he actually did in the game. Mm. Another mm -hmm. look at the window, perhaps? The one he was shot through. I don't know. I can't think of anything better. Yeah. Okay. New task. Inspect the window in Classy's bedroom. Nice. There we go. You know what? what's really great? What? I said this earlier, but um, like the church was probably unaffected by this. So we can still oh, mix the pale. I mean, if we've invested so much into this. Fuck off. Well, anyway. Um, Wait, are we limping? No, we're just fine. Okay. Yeah, it's a fine. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our catastrophic failure as much as we did. <laughs> uh, yeah. If you wish to congratulate us for our, our investigation so far, you can leave some comments or subscribe to the channel. You can follow us on Twitter at makes underscore play. Vincent, do you have any last words? I really wish that armor was more useful. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>